Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> hello, my loves. Hello, Pajor. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, Monk87. Welcome, Marcus. Welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you for being here with me on this glorious Friday afternoon. Hello, Kim. Kim gets personal. Nice. I like that. Sarik. Hello and welcome, Sarik Lee. <laughs> um, welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you for being here with me this afternoon, this lovely Friday afternoon. And <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Today is is the ending of our 12th day of self-love. We have one more day of our challenge. I am so psyched that you have been here with me for 10 plus days. Andrew, welcome, welcome, welcome. It has been 12 days. We have Marcus in the house. We have Pete in the house, Kim and William. So welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. Let me know if you are new to my periscopes. My name is Dianese, like Viennese, and here on Sexuality Power, we talk about, you know, everything from sexuality to spirituality and beyond. So for the last 12 days, Andrew, thank you for letting me know that you're new. For the last 12 days, we have embarked together on a journey to self-love and today the the big old question right the big grand question that we contemplated today i'm a romance enhancement specialist love your scopes thank you thank you thank you wow you're here i know so i'm gonna give you a sneak peek at my hair i just came back from the hair salon this is my form of self-love for today, getting a haircut. It was a birthday gift from one of my best friends. So thank you, Taisha, for the birthday gift. I love it, love it, love it. And for all of you who are new, the big, big question that I posed to all of us this morning and that I want to continue us on this journey over the next 365 days although I won't be talking about self-love every single day, as I have been for the last 12, is what would someone who loves themselves do? So whenever you come across a challenge, a moment where you need guidance from yourself, this is the question to ask. And one of the things that self-love does for all of us is it really amps up our ability to transform, to trans transcend consciousness and really become enlightened beings. So if you are seeking awakening, if you are seeking enlightenment, prosperity, life to go your way, right? How to play the game of life, self-love is definitely the key. So love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. And there are a couple more things I wanna share with you outside of my haircut, but I will, go like this so you can all see my haircut <laughs> so that's my haircut I I went a little more bold um, this time around oh Melissa you just missed the haircut sneak peek sexy cute thank you is unbelievable so here is the haircut again again <laughs> I missed oh I just I showed I showed Wow, I know. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So another another thing that I really want to stress about self-love, right? We have one more day, so I have to kind of like do all the little... I'm going to do a summary tomorrow. So if you've missed any of these days, I will be doing a nice summary tomorrow where we're going to talk about all of the stuff that we've covered over the last 12 days um, <clears throat> and tomorrow and really 
come to a closing and a celebration. So, you know, make sure you're ready for for celebrating tomorrow as we're celebrating Self Love Day. National Self Love Day is tomorrow. And it is also my birthday. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice little celebration here tomorrow on Periscope. So look out for my scope at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So some other other things to keep in mind, right? So we've already, you know, earlier this week committed to no longer accepting any negative thoughts that come up about ourselves, right? Saying this is not true and replacing that thought with something that is positive. Where do you think a line is drawn between self-love and being boastful and conceited? Um, so here is the difference. When you are loving yourself, you're coming from pure love. You're coming from your higher self. There's no ego. When you're being boastful and, and conceited, there's a lot of ego. And you can tell the difference. Right? So when there is a lot of ego, it's not really about loving yourself as much as it is about um, getting people's approval or making an impression on others. So as long as it's focused within you, right, towards yourself, that is what counts, right? If you're feeling good, doesn't matter what the hell anybody else says, right? Like some people might like my haircut, some people might not, but I like it. I think it makes me look great. It makes me feel great, right? It makes me feel sexy and spunky and like sassy and that's how I want to be feeling so if that's how you want to be feeling and that's what's in it for you right then go with what what's for, present and alive and you know good for you it might not be what's good for someone else but that's what makes us all unique and you we have to have to have to embrace our uniqueness because if we don't embrace our uniqueness right then we're just we're not being ourselves right and if we're not being ourselves we're not being the true light and love that God intended us to be. And that is what the entire self-love journey is about. It's really coming into, stepping into that person within you that is meant to be you, right? Is really stepping into the true you. So I hope, I hope, I hope that you, um, you can always, always catch these last 12 days on my catch account. It's catch.com. Um, slash sexuality expert on there you can see all the videos I have quite a lot I think I have like three weeks to a month and a half worth of videos up on there you can't see everything but you can see a lot of the more recent stuff so thank you thank you thank you all for being here some other other things about self-love your outward expression is a reflection of your inward state of being right so really when, you know, when you talk about being, you know, conceited or boast, boastful or whatever, um, it's really not about that. It's about what do you need? What does, what would someone who loves themselves do to take care of themselves, right? What would you wear? How would you appear to the world, right? You, you know, think of this, you know, the planet Earth is a planet of pleasure. And and that comes directly from, you know, a minister that I heard a couple weeks ago. And this is a planet of pleasure. So what pleasures are you seeking out? What pleasures are you seeking out as the unique light that you are? And embrace those pleasures. Indulge in it, right? Don't shame yourself for wanting what you want. If you want it, you are meant to have it. So really give yourself permission. It's all about giving yourself that permission to go after what you want, to express yourself exactly the way that you think your self-expression should be. And don't, don't listen to what other people say. You know, people are always going to going to talk and have opinions. We all have opinions, right? There's just, that's just part of the human condition. But it's about really listening to that inner guidance. Serious relationship? <laughs> all right, is that a question or a comment? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me know, Andrew, if that was a question about um, serious relationships. But, the, you know, talking about a comment, yeah. Okay, thank you, Andrew, for sharing. The, the most important relationship, right, and the one that's going to last the longest amount of time is our relationship with, our, with ourselves. So take time, take, take, take time to indulge in getting to know yourself. This is something that I guarantee you, you know, the same way you can live with someone for a hundred years and not really know them, right? They, they can have a secret that you never found out about. It's the same way with yourself. There's always, always, always something new to discover about yourself. So really take time and explore that being within you. Hiya, I'm always late for your scopes and always have to replay. <laughs> Dee's Dreamland, thank you, thank you for replaying. I love my replay viewers and thank you for jumping on today and being here live. I'm so honored that you made it to today's scope. We're just talking about our journey over the last 12 days and really God first. Yes. And really honing in on the, the question of this morning, which is, what does someone, what would, and what does someone who loves themselves do? Right? What would someone who loves themselves do? So whenever you, you come across a challenge, a question, a moment of doubt, right? Go back, go within, and ask yourself that question and just wait, right? Wait for the answer to come. Because the answer will come, right? You have to have trust in your higher self and in the higher self up there, <laughs> right? That it will come. Hello, Sophie. Welcome, Sophie. Welcome, Totally Stable. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Today is the 12th day of our journey and it's all about coming home to yourself and really, you know, indulge in, the, in getting to know yourself. Indulge in the things that light you up, right? When you know, you're, you're, you will know when you're lit up, right? You know what gets you pumped and energized and excited versus the things that make you feel lethargic and, you know, down in life. So really, go with that, right? Because that's, that's feedback, right? The entire world and everything that happens in our in our existence is giving us feedback. So when you step into a situation and it's not making you good feel good, that's feedback. That's telling you this is maybe not in your highest and greatest good, right? So and also you know when you get to know yourself, I don't understand because I'm French. I'm sorry. Journey, sexuality, yay, journey to your sexuality. <laughs> Self-love is a big, big, big part of owning your sexuality. And that is why we did this challenge, right? Because we really have to focus in on ourselves and know ourselves and love ourselves in order to fully express our sexuality and then really engage in our sexuality with someone else. Um, I don't read French. Are you lesbian? No, I'm not lesbian. Okay, blocking that person. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone who is just joining. We have to be able to empower ourselves comes from self-love. Yes, 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 yes. And that is exactly what this experience, right, is all about. It's about coming into your power coming into your self-expression coming into the light that you are and enjoying the pleasures of life there is so much beauty and love and light in this world and we are meant to enjoy it self-love is the first step in that process so do not do not i'm so glad you tell your clients this all the time yay you know, there's so many, many people out there who are shining their light and allowing others to shine their light. And I invite you all to do the same. You know, every day when you smile at someone, when you, um, you know, smile at yourself, you, you're really radiating outward this beauty within you. Individuality is a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Thank you. So, 
y'all, I am about to let you go. But remember to always come back to the question. And I invite you to take on the challenge to do this for 365 days. What would someone who loves themselves do? So do you believe in body-to-body -body love? Yes. Yes. I believe in all types of love. All forms of love are great. Can you speak French, Sophie? Um, no. <laughs> Bonjour, je m'appelle Dionise. That's all I know, Sophie. I'm sorry. I, I plan to learn French next year. So hopefully then I can engage with some of my French audience. I also have some Brazilians and some Russians that have joined me and I, I'm sad that I can't communicate with you all, but I'm so honored that you come on and I hope you get something out of my scopes. I love you all so, so much. I wish you all a passionate evening and until tomorrow for our final day of self-love and celebration at four o'clock. Have a great, passionate evening. Bye.